Well, hello there, fabulous authors. I wanted to check in with you today and let you know that I am currently puppy sitting. So this is my aunt's Cocker Spaniel baby, and she's hanging out with my two English Springer Spaniels and my Pomeranian. We are out for a walk, and so I kind of wanted to let you know a little bit about what you can do now that spring is here and it's gorgeous outside, and you can go outside and photograph your books. So take a look where I am out in the gorgeous, beautiful air. And we are hanging out outside. We are on our walk. I'm going to put the baby down. And uh, I just want to give you a couple tips for photographing outside. So if I get a little distracted, it's because I've got a little puppy here. So when you are photographing outside, if you're photographing near water, you can get close to water, but don't get close enough that you dunk your book in the water. That's a bad thing. If you're photographing outside, you want to make sure that you are um, not photographing in the direct sun. So if you are photographing in the direct sun, you are going to either uh, blow out your book cover or you're going to wash it out. So if you've got a dark book cover like my cover for Golden, that will get um, very, very washed out. You won't be able to see the colors very well. If you are having like a white book cover or a light colored book cover, you are going to blow it out, which means it's going to glow if it's in the direct sun. You do not want to have your book in the direct sun. It's not something you want to do. It's just not going to look good. So go for the shade. I know people think we don't want the shade. We want a nice sunny day, but you actually want a cloudy day where the light's kind of diffused and it's not super, super bright. Right now, if you take a look at me, I've got some brighter spots on my face where that sun is hitting me. And apparently we're going this way now. <laughs> Puppy's very happy. And uh, you don't want to be in the direct sun because it'll give you weird spots. Also, if you're photographing under trees and things, avoid like harsh shadows. You do not want harsh shadows. So nice diffused light, especially if it's a cloudy day or if you can be in the shadow of something like a rock or a tree or a house, something that kind of blocks the light so you still get the reflected light, but not the crazy harsh light. We don't like that. Uh, this pup is super happy. <laughs> And she wants to remind you, don't dunk your books in the water. <laughs> now, when you are outside, you want to take care that you are watching what you are doing. Do not put it in mud. Do not put it in dirt. Don't put it anywhere where things can crawl on it. I know you can't always control these things, but kind of be aware of what's going on within your area. So you want to make sure you're taking care of your book. That is your priority. But if it's your own book and you've got multiple copies and you can get it a little dirty, that's okay. That's a tree. Thanks. Thanks, Kaylee. Thank you, Kaylee. She's a strong little dog. She's teeny tiny, but she is pulling me. <laughs> Strongly. Kaylee. Kaylee. Come here. Yes, good girl. Come here, baby. I know. I know you're okay. It's real quick. It's real quick. You're fine. Okay. Uh, so take care of your book. Do not put it in dirt. Do not put it in mud. Poor baby. <laughs> you're okay. She was running too hard. And you want to make sure you're looking for places that are going to look good. So put it near the water, but not in the water. Uh, don't put it in the mud. You can overlay things like leaves, um, some sticks, things like that. Tree branches are all good, but you don't want to put too much in your image, especially if you're outside and you've got the grass background, you've got water, you've got other things. So priority here is just to take care of your book. Hi, baby. It's windy out today, guys. It's very windy. So now that spring is here, Get yourself outside and get some gorgeous pictures of your book. If you follow my author feed at Tam Robinson Books on all social media platforms, you will see that I am outside taking photos near flowers, near bushes, near water, near uh, grass and rocks and all sorts of fabulous things. The prettier you can make it, the better it's going to be. Get lots of different... Sorry, she's a heavy little thing. Get lots of different types of imagery. And when you're out, take as much as possible because you don't know when you're going to have good weather again. So make sure... <laughs> This puppy, I'm telling you, make sure that uh, you get as much out of your shoot as possible. So when you take the afternoon to go shoot your book, shoot it everywhere. Hit the flowers, hit the rocks, hit the grass, hit the trees, hit the leaves. Hit whatever you can to get the best pictures that you can. Oh, hey, guys. So Susie just joined us. And because Susie's not here, we're just going to hold the baby up again. I'm hanging out with Kaylee. She says hello. She's got the biggest, fluffiest paws. <gasps> and Kaylee wants you to get out this spring and take beautiful pictures of your book. Get them on Bookstagram, use the correct hashtags, and then tag me in them because I want to see what you're doing. I'm Cam Robinson of Cam Robinson Photography and Reading Transforms, and this is Kaylee, my helper puppy for the day, saying get out there and photograph your gorgeous books. You guys have a great day, stay inspired, and hit me up at readingtransforms.com and community.readingtransforms.com.
where you have access to our online communities, our online courses, our resources, our articles, our tutorials, our on-demand trainings, our webinars, our uh, amazing projects that we're working on at Reading Transforms, and my closed Facebook group where I'm teaching you about the social media algorithms and how to work with them, how to beat them, how to get your content seen by people. We talk about marketing your book, branding your author brand, and engaging your fans, empowering and equipping them to get out there and market better for you. Thanks so much for joining me. I will see you next time. And drop a comment below letting me know what you want to see in our next live broadcast so that I can help you grow your author brand even more. Have a great day. Stay inspired.